Let's look at payment providers. From the main menu, I will click on the settings, and at the far right, I have payment settings and payment providers. Once you enter this area, you can add payment provider at the top right. Let's check out the list. Now I'm going to start with the actual payment providers. There is Stripe, to Checkout, and Authorize.net. These are three payment providers that are ready to go in our system, and in the United States there is a fourth option, Cayenne, C-A-Y-A-N. You don't see them in my list here because I'm considered a Canadian e-commerce. But I will still use Authorize.net as my example here today. Let's add them to the list. All of the payment providers work the same way. This is one of the few things that we can't help you with. You have to contact the payment provider, even if you're already a customer of theirs, to get credentials for online transactions. To activate a payment provider, you can activate them up here at the top. Once you've contacted your payment provider and all the credentials have been given to you via an email, you can copy-paste them into their respective fields. We encourage you to do some tests before going live. You also just need to tell us what payment methods you will accept online, whether it's all four of them or just one. And once all of that information is entered, you activate the payment provider, you hit save, and this payment provider is officially ready to go in the system. It'll be available upon checkout. Now all of the payment methods have optional additional settings below. You do not have to use them, but you can set up minimum amounts, maximum amounts, and even charge extra fees if you'd like. You can also say, I'm not going to charge you anything unless you're spending under a certain amount of money, maybe $30. You can enter $30 in this box here after turning on the activate box, and then tell us what is the fee that you would like to charge if they're spending under that amount of money. Once all that information is entered, you can hit save, and that will be in effect. Let's go back to our list of payment providers, and let's talk about PayPal. PayPal is even easier to set up than a payment provider, because you can head over to paypal.com, create yourself an account or a business account, and simply enter the email address in this setup. Now that I've added PayPal to my list, all I would have to do is punch in the email address associated with my account right here, switch that to test mode of course before going live, and the fun thing about PayPal is you can pick and choose the methods that you'd like to accept. So if you'd like to only take PayPal, you just turn off the other payment methods. PayPal is also a good plan B in case your main payment provider for credit cards goes down. If that is the case, then you can fall back on PayPal to process credit cards if your main provider is down. This is optional. You do not have to process credit cards with PayPal. You can go through a payment provider to do credit cards and only accept PayPal through PayPal. Down below, we have the same optional additional settings that you can set up. And when a customer completes a payment with PayPal, it'll redirect them to the Thank You for Your Purchase page on your website. Tell us the payment methods you'd like, punch in the email address, activate the payment provider at the top, and hit Save. That's all you need to do to get PayPal activated in the system. There's one last payment method that I'd like to explain to you today, and that's Pay at Pickup. Let's go back to the list. Pay at Pickup is a payment method that simply needs to be activated. If this method is added and activated, it'll allow your customers to complete orders on your store without paying for them. If you'd like to prevent that, if you'd like to force the customer to pay for their order online and then pick it up in store, simply do not add the payment method. Let's add it though and see how it works. You can punch in a short description here, maybe something like the address, Tell us the payment methods you accept in the store, and then activate the payment provider and hit save. This payment method is officially ready to use upon checking out. We now have three payment methods available in my e-commerce, PayPal, Authorize.net, and Pay at Pickup. That's it for payment providers today.